and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amina Taqi and I'm an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this show is to help you um, get the right information and knowledge that you need to be able to make the right choices to help improve your health um, in the long term and help you to live happily and healthily for as long as possible. Today's topic is going to be about how we can achieve that and what's important for us to keep in mind is that we first of all need to be aware of what our current situation is, what our health is currently like and based on that awareness we can choose what aspect of our health do we want to improve in. So once we've got that relevant health topic uh, we can choose that and we can slowly work on that and the month of Ramadan is a great opportunity to do that. Now the concept that we'll go through can be um, applied to any um, topic or any aspect that you want to improve on, not just your health, not just your diet. But for our, um, for our program we're going to focus on the health. So how do we go from no knowing certain things to actually achieving them? is by setting SMART goals or targets for us to be able to achieve. Now, goals in general help us, but we need to make sure that our goals are SMART. So what is a SMART goal? A SMART goal is a specific goal. The S is specific. The M is measurable. A, achievable. R is realistic. And then T is time. So rather than just saying general goal of I want to improve my exercise, that might help us in the short term, but in terms of the long term, um, it could be different things every day. More exercise can mean 10 minutes extra walking, more exercise could mean two hours swimming. It could mean very different things. So what we need to start with is setting these SMART goals. So rather than having a general goal of I want to increase more exercise, I'm going to make it more specific. So I'm going to choose what exercise um, that I think I can start off with. Um, so that's, um, um, for example, for me, I'm going to start off with walking. I've already specified the exercise. If it's about my diet, then it could be that rather than, rather than my general goal to be um, improve my diet, my specific thing of how I will do that is I will include one portion of vegetables as part of each of my meals. M is measurable. So how am I going to measure it? Yes, it's great that that's what I'm going to do, but how am I going to make sure that I actually do it? Well, for my walking, uh, for my exercise example, I'm going to make sure that I walk for 20 minutes, three times a week. Um, if it's for the diet, I'm going to have one, one extra portion. That's how I measure it. A is achievable. Can I really achieve it? That's also very important. Always ask yourself on a scale of zero to 10, how likely you are going to achieve it. If it's seven or less, try and change your goal. Make it easy for yourself so you can actually achieve it. R, it has to be relevant or realistic to you. Um, is, that, is that what you want to work on? Is that what is going to improve your health? And T is your time. How long are you going to uh, do that goal for? Is it for a week? Is it for a month? Um, and once you have all of those um, different aspects of what a SMART goal is, you have a direct plan or step that you can do regularly that will help you to improve your goal and improve your health. And remember, it's a step-by-step -step process. So we start off with 20 minute walk, three times a week, and then we slowly can move on to, for example, um, including a brisk walk or a little bit of jogging, half an hour every day. And that's how we go on from knowing what we want to achieve to actually achieving them by setting these SMART goals down and also writing them down. That helps because that gives your brain a specific target to work towards. That's it um, for today's uh, session and today's episode. Thank you for joining us and I hope now you've got the um, skills of how you can actually go on to achieve your goals. Thank you for joining us and Master Amma.